How you doing today? I'm here as one of you guys requested showing off how to replace a part on your DJI Mavic Pro 2 and in this video I'm going to show you guys how to remove the IMU module from drone. So pretty much if you have your DJI what do you want to do? Remove the cover for the gimbal. Remove the battery if you have any of them. Next we're going to open the legs. We're going to unscrew the four screws that are inside underneath the battery. All right, once you remove this four screws right underneath, remove the two screws right at the back of the drone on the sides. We're going to remove bottom cover here on, right on the close to the gimbal. Some of them they have silicone right in there. If you want to confuse the screws, just keep the screws with the cover oh, so you know where it goes which one. So to unhook it, watch out for the tiny clamps. The tiny clamps right on the sides. Don't go and yank them. You want to break them. Once you remove that one, remove the two screw right under here. Once you remove these two screws right there, you want to remove the screw right under the gimbal. Pretty much there is only four screw holding the gimbal. And once you remove that, hold the gimbal from this end, from the rubber legs, and lift it up a tiny bit. Once you got it in this position, unhook the jack right here. Just lift up the jack. And there's your gimbal. Okay, next, we're gonna remove the front cover, which has the two sensor. And you already can see the IMA UI is right there. So you gotta reach that one right there. It comes right pretty much on the top plate. Once you remove that one, we gotta de detach the top part of the drone. Pretty much what it has, it has a clamps right underneath the plastic. So we stick one right there. Or maybe I can just pull it out. There you go. Once you put that one in there, just slide it. And keep it open and do the same thing for the other side. And so the clamps are really tiny clamps they have on the sides. Next, you want to remove the these side panels on the, the front wings. And again, use your guitar pick to remove these covers. Alright, next, remove the only screw that's on one side. Not the bigger screw, this one is a bigger screw, you want to remove the small one. Now, what do you want to do? You want to grab your guitar pick, you start from the back side, and let's take it right in the back end, and just clamp it open. Just like that. And move around to the side. Do that under the wing. Do the other side. Alright, so we are halfway through. Now you gotta do the top part right where by the front wing. They just have a really hard clamps in front side, so don't be too scared.
There we go. I already opened that side, so I need to loosen up this end. you want to remove this board right off okay this board is connected to the main uh, power control board right by this guy we have to remove this top plate this is a top plate to hold the connectors in place so remove these three screws well, if you have a, a magnet put a magnet beside your screwdriver so. I'm guessing DJI has a plan for the next Mavic 3 or something because they have a PCB board with no uh, components on them in this end so that means there is a next version is gonna come out with more completed components with an extra features which this one they don't have it so that's why they have all this PCB board printed with an extra space all right, next once we remove the three screws you wanna lift up this cover, it has a little adhesive tape right in the front side and right there so these are little adhesive tape that they have now you here you want to disconnect the main, this is the cable that goes to the power board or to the main board right underneath this is a GPS cable, so this is pretty much a GPS area so you want to unhook this one you want to unhook the front end sensors Right there. Now there's only four screws, four black screws that holds the board. You want to unscrew these four screws. All right. Now that we remove this one, you can go ahead and remove the GPS board right here. All right. Now we're gonna put the DJI to one side. We're going to focus on removing the IMUI stabilizer. So here we have the IMUI. It only has four screws that holds from this side. So we're going to remove these four screws. They're right there. Now when you do the last screw, hold the IMUI in place. And there you have it. Same connector that they have it. So let's connect the connector right there. And this is your IME UI. It has a stabilizer right there. So pretty much this is it. So this is as far as you go. Now you can order the new IME UI or buy it off eBay. Same thing if you want to connect it. You have to Keep it in the same position, plug in the connector, you just push down connector, once in there just rotate, always do cross stitch, one on top, one on the other side. I don't know why, but this is a brand new DJI I got. So this screw is kind of thicker on the head size than comparing to the other ones. So I don't know why. Maybe somebody put it in there when they were assembling it. That's the wrong screw head, so. Yeah, because the rest, all the three screws, they sit flash, right? But this one, I don't know if you guys can see it. It actually has a little bumper to it. The rest, they don't have. They have a really low profile. This one has a big profile. But who knows why? Maybe they made a mistake. Let me know in the comments if you guys have the same four screw. Or actually one of them is different. So oh, yeah, you're gonna grab the drone. All right, you're gonna grab your 
our GPS module same way that you removed it put down the front end make sure the cables are right on top put it in place press down the connectors hold down the drum from the bottom side put the sensor cables in put the four screws there you go now we're gonna put the bracket right on top of these ones so it's gonna keep the connectors in place all right we have the bracket in there we have the mirror plugged in so the next step is to put the top cover back in if you want to do any cleaning right now you can just go ahead and just clean up the heat sink a little bit from this side the fan just make sure there's no dust anything built in you're gonna grab the top cover and you're just gonna slide it down from the top side and in place and you're gonna hold it in your hand don't squeeze it you're gonna break the legs you have to hold it from the bottom with your hand and just squeeze down the sides You wanna hear some clicking. There you go. Same thing to other side. Same thing to the back side. Make sure everything is nice and tight. Once everything is done, Go ahead put the two screws right under the wing make sure you don't forget those nice and tight there you go put the other one once you're done with that put the covers for the, this one and you need to put the other screw the other screw holds the bracket be gentle with this one they have a really flimsy cover hinges yeah take your time putting them in i have the camera in my way so what i do pretty much i don't want to break this little tiny corner hinges that they have two on this side and one on this side so i put the two corner ones in and then somehow i have to bend the curve so i can squeeze it i put the other one let's say the big one first Hold the mid part with your nail so it kind of curves in and put this side and then let go of the mid. So that way actually bend it, goes in and then you push it down. Put the two screws. Right. You can actually, you could have done this without removing the gimbal, I guess, but it's better to remove it because you're going to be moving around. You don't want to damage the gimbal so yeah so we're gonna put the front cover just squeeze it in you're gonna hear those two cracks put the two screws now we're gonna grab the gimbal you're gonna put the front end of the gimbal first down and then before you knock down the gimbal right in place, pull it up a little bit, put the connector first so you have enough space to move around in there. Once the gimbal is in place, now you can actually jiggle it around. It has to fall in its place. No forcing, do not force the gimbal. It has to go soft and smooth in. Once in there, put the four screws, two on the top, by the right under the gimbal, and two on the other side of the gimbal. Now make sure the screws are really tight. And again, you guys, I appreciate if you guys subscribe, it really helps me out, and I do take requests from my subscribers. And... The person that asked me to do this video, I doubt it is subscribed yet. So, 
I appreciate if you guys do it. It motivates, helps me to put my time to do this video for you guys. So now we're gonna grab the top cover. You're gonna some kind of it's between sliding and pushing it down. So make sure you put the corner side down and then slide it toward the bottom sense. Once it's in there, put the two screws. And I hope you guys like this video. If you like it, click that thumbs up button. I appreciate it. So once we have the gimbal in place, I'm gonna place the cover for the gimbal. All right, now we're gonna put the four screws on the top under the battery and the two at the back end. All right, and that's it. Now we're gonna put the battery back in there. And that's how you change your IMU for your Draw Mavic Pro 2.